Hi everyone, Jeff Teague with Auto Jeff Reviews, and today we're looking at the 2023 Subaru Ascent. This is the Onyx Edition. Look at that beautiful red color, beautiful red paint, sparkles in the sun, even out in the wild like I'm at today. So if you're looking for a vehicle that might compete with Pilot and Highlander and Telluride, maybe this would be a good choice. What do you think? And here's a view of the back. This has a 2.4 liter boxer four cylinder engine matched with a linear tronic CVT, has symmetrical all wheel drive, woo, and X mode, 260 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. Let's talk suspension and brakes. Number one, it has four wheel disc brakes, 13.1 inches, 13 inches. Then it has independent raised suspension, McPherson in the front, double wishbone in the back. This is one of those vehicles Gas tank on the passenger side, 19.3 gallon fuel tank. Fuel facts, 19 in the city, 25 on the highway, baby. Woo, raising the roof. The front end is absolutely gorgeous. It's a combination of sort of a metallic fleck with lots of other colors mixed in here. Front grille, along with some matte black down below. Lots of color keyed here. And I like this too because it's a little bit outdoor adventurous, a little bit traditional. So it's kind of a combination of everything. It's a overall pleasing hood and front end. Some other observations I have, this is LED steering responsive headlights. It's also got LED fog lights down below. Choose love today, I do like that. I choose love, not war. And talk about off-road capable, 8.7 inch ground clearance. Clearly Subaru wants to show how this is certainly welcome in the wild because where else would you have advertisements out in the wild as you're walking the catwalk, the overlook? Look at this here, we've got these 20 inch wheels. Pretty freaking cool if you ask me. They look stylish, but they're also looking tough and rugged, right? They go with the whole flow. Let's go with the flow. Of course, in true Subaru fashion, we've got matte black fender treatments and rockers down below. This is kind of interesting though, how it jets out here, gives it a little bit more character. We've got gloss black, love the A-pillar cutout window here, better visibility. We've got LED turn signals, the Subaru logo. We've got blind spot going on. Let's take a look here. And look at these tall roof rails. What would you put up there? We have push button start, so that's auto lock, auto unlock right there. And then we'll just kind of fade on out head on over to the back. As far as observations in the back, well, I noticed these two big chrome pipes for exhaust. Then we've got parking sensor and a huge matte black lower bumper here. Ascent, Onyx Edition, and it almost looks like it's carved from stone or from wood. Pretty impressive. We got these C-channel lights that are coming out here. Some more dark accent. Subaru, looks tough. And then boom, look how fast this raises raise the roof. I've been finding this a good test for cargo space because if you wanted to put me back here, well, on your trip, I would go. Let's go camping. Let's go to the beach. Anyway, good room back here, stacks up. You can also take these seats and you can recline them back, which is nice for the back seat, the back back seat. You can also get 42 cubic feet of storage space behind the second row and then 72 behind the first row. So here we go for full features. What's going on back here? Got, I like the cutout right here. Allows for maybe an extra piece of something when you're going on a trip. Cup holders, I could even wedge a tablet in there. That's pretty cool. Got overhead latches I noticed, that's good. Got a light. I like that it's really tall. You could stack things up, that's big. And it goes higher as you go in. And then we got extra storage in here. That's a big bonus as well. Now here's the third row. I like that it's got a lot of lighting. It's well lit, even in the wild of the jungle that I'm in right now. Look at this. Now what I like is, see that's all the way back, but you can slide those seats in the middle a long way. Yeah, so if you really want to free up some space, well, you can go like this, slide all the way forward. Look at that. Look at that. Pretty cool, and then I can recline my seat as well. Holla. All right. Look at this space though, it's so tall in here, especially with this panoramic roof. Look at that. 
I got tons of room. And this is a beautiful, I say beautiful, B-E-A, beautiful interior. Look at this here. Good for gripping, getting in, getting out. Look at the interesting, and of course leave it to Subaru, to have that lime greenish yellow accent all the way around. It's just so, shall I say, just so Subaru. So now look here. We have soft touch armrest here. I'm just really hypnotized. Biggie, 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 can't you see by this stitching here? And then look, we've got a deep, deep sport bottle holder there. That's pretty cool, look at that. Almost went wrist deep. We've got pocket, pocket. Oh, USB, USB, does this open? I really want it to open. I don't think it opens. All right, oh, more cup holders, 19 cup holders, my friends. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Necessary? I hope not, but maybe. And then look at this space in here. All right, so let's look on in here. Same thing here, I love the big sport bottle holder. I think a lot of companies are gonna be going that way where they just free up. Look, it's the Subaru logo. I wish I could get in there so you could see, but I promise you, there we go. That's the Subaru logo. All right, look, we've got, as you see on some of these midsize SUVs, we've got storage right there, a little shelf. Ooh, wicka, wicka, wicka. 11.6 inch screen. That's certainly cool. But yeah, it just seems like a good all around vehicle. Onyx edition. You can see my shadow too, Peter Pan. Lock it up, you lock it up, lock it up, lock it up, you lock it up. All right, so let's keep going here. What's in the console? Oh, big, deep storage pocket right here. All right, then we've got an auxiliary jack, whoa. Sometimes you don't see that all the time. We've got storage there, electronic parking brake, and look on in here. We can go forward, backward, we can twist, and it does it quickly. Look at that. What, what, what? Very cool, my friends. Very cool, my friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we've got a pocket that you could put something there, maybe a keychain from Jellystone National Park. Yo, yo, boo boo. I think we should take the picnic biscuit. You know, because we're in the wild here. I wanted to be like Yogi. So look at that screen. Look at those controls. This is a show car, so we're not able to. I really want to. We can't light anything up. Light it up, up, up. I'm on fire. Yeah. See, they take those out so you can't play around with them. You can't steal them because they can't be watching me because I'm loco. I'm crazy. Auto dimming mirror with garage door opener programming. Sunglass holder. And then we've got a little mirror that can see people. The better to see with, oh, that's bright. And then we've got sliders with lights. Hey, let's poke our head around. Oh, looky here. Ho! Onyx Edition starts at $41,295. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I would be honored if you would hit subscribe to my channel and follow me on my other platforms, Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok. See you next time.